And now the latest across the wide world of tropics. Tropical Weather Bulletin for September the 30th. Well, good evening. As we round up the month of September, we have three active tropical cyclones tonight. Hurricane Sam, still a Category 4 on the Stafford-Simpson scale in the Atlantic. Victor, far southeast in the Atlantic. Form today, it's a tropical storm. Gulab is likely to redevelop in the North Arabian Sea, and Mendul is down to a Category 3 typhoon as it generally tracks northeastwards. It's day 272 of 2021, and so far with the addition of Victor, we've had 77 storms form this year, and it's possible that that number rises over the next few days. In North Atlantic on day 122 of hurricane season, Peter is dead finally. It is not reforming. Sam is a category 4. Recon is found by our estimates as now a 140 mile per hour category 4. 91L is down to 30%, um, so it could still form, although Victor is the dominating storm. Expected to become a hurricane out in the Atlantic later this week, thankfully staying well out to sea. In the Eastern Pacific on day 138 of hurricane season, the area of interest by Mexico has been put down to 20% by the National Hurricane Center as it generally tracks northwestwards, and an area of low pressure way out to sea could form as it generally tracks towards the Central Pacific, 40% chance on that in the next five days. In the Western Pacific, Mindul is again a Category 3. Um, generally tracking northeastwards could bring some impacts to Japan, and 91W has been found to be dead. 0% chance of formation on this now. In the northern Indian Ocean, our area of interest in the Bay of Bengal is gone as model guidance has dropped off, and Gulab has been given a 90% chance of formation, reformation I should say, as it is looking quite good coming off the coastline. In the South Indian Ocean, we can see our 10% area of interest still here. This would be generally tracking westwards, uh, looks like, from the model guidance of what they want. Still the potential there for an early season storm. Moving to the satellite imagery, here's the North Atlantic Basin. You can see Peter dying, really, for the final time at the top of your screen. Sam, of course, being the main feature in the Atlantic Basin, still a powerful Category 4 hurricane, and this could last for several more days. It turns seven days old today. And if you look towards the southeast of Sam, you can see the disturbed activity with Victor and 91L. Again, 91L not likely to form, but it is still possible. And we only have one more name on our traditional naming list, by the way. In the Eastern Pacific, you can see the little bit of thunderstorm activity associated with our area of interest by Mexico. Not too impressive, and I don't expect it really to get more too much more impressive. Model guidance is really diving down a cliff. So it doesn't look like this is, this is going to form, unlike what models were showing a couple days ago. And if you look in the middle of your screen, you can see the, sun, the thunderstorm activity associated with our next area of interest. It's actually looking pretty good right now. Maybe a bit of resemblance of a, of a rotation there. Uh, so that could form as it tracks towards the Central Pacific. In the Western Pacific, you can see a large Mindul potentially even starting to bring some impacts to Japan, as you can see the cloud field getting towards portions of Japan. And you can see, well, it's actually hard to see, but 91W is there. It is quite dead, though. 0% chance again on that one forming. But beautiful cyclone that Mindul is. In the North Indian Ocean, you can see the remnants of what was 98B still over eastern India, producing heavy rainfall there. And you can see the remnants of Gulab now moving offshore into the Arabian Sea, looking pretty good right now. In the southwest Indian Ocean, we're seeing some increased thunderstorm activity here, maybe some indication that we could start to see tropical cyclone formation take place. Very low chance at this time, but it is still possible could we see potentially an early season storm this year. The sea surface temperatures for both of our areas, which is in the eastern Pacific, are both are, are generally very warm, very conductive for strengthening. The question really, especially for the month near Mexico, is will the environmental conditions be favorable? It doesn't look like it in this case. In the Atlantic, for everything there, except for Peter, I'd say, uh, sea surface temperatures are looking very warm, very uh, favorable, especially for Sam to continue on as a hurricane. In the Indian Ocean, we're looking Pretty warm for all of our areas of interest, well I guess the, both of them, Gulab and our Southwest Indian Ocean AOI. And in the Western Pacific, a big noticeable change from last night. You can start to see a bit of a cool pool from where Mendul was stalled. 
over the past couple of days. Other than that, it's generally warm, and models are depicting that we could potentially see some formation near the Philippines in a week or two. This is of temperature anomalies, you can really point out where Mindul has been on this map in the Western Pacific. You can see this huge blob of below average sea surface temperatures, which has really just popped up in the past 24 hours. The Indian Ocean is generally above average for Gulab and our Southwest Indian Ocean AOI. We still have that La Nina type pattern near the equatorial regions. It's pretty above average in the Eastern Pacific for both of our areas of interest and in the North Atlantic. We're generally looking above average, almost complete, completely recovered from Larry earlier in the season. Moving on to the On This Day segment, we're looking towards 2011 for this one. The main one being Typhoon Now Gay, which was approaching the Philippines. This would make landfall in Luzon on October the 1st as a typhoon, but a significant cyclone there. Of course, in the Atlantic, we had Hurricane Ophelia in the same general spot as Sam is right now. That would head generally out to sea. Philippe would also do the same, not really cause many significant impacts. And Hillary was coming off its incredible track as a major hurricane in the eastern pacific this is again as i stated in the past couple of nights provided by our a cyclone history uh team on twitter i do recommend you follow them on twitter as this is very interesting stuff to learn about moving to the on this uh, not this on this day this is the naming list we have added a new column in the atlantic basin with victor being named of course we're getting closer to the Auxiliary list. The next two names are Wanda and Adria. In the Eastern Pacific, the next two names are Pamela followed by Rick. In the Central Pacific, Animal Crossing Tom Nook can find endless loans to give you, however he can't find Hone. As you guessed it, Hone is still the next name in the Central Pacific. In the Western Pacific, we're not looking to see 91W form, but as I mentioned, the models are depicting potentially some formation in a week or two near the Philippines. The next two names are Lion Rock, followed by Kampazu. In the North Indian Ocean, we're looking out for Shaheen, followed by Jawad. And as we get closer to the Southern Hemisphere seasons, we're really going to be watching down there for potential formation. We're already watching in the Southwest Indian Ocean. The next name in the Australian region is Paddy, followed by Ruby. In the Southwest Indian Ocean, we're looking out for Anna, followed by Basurai. And in the South Pacific, we're looking out for Cody, followed by Dovey. Thank you so much for watching this Tropic Weather Bulletin, and we'll have another one tomorrow night.